Namaste, Yogi. Welcome to my channel. I've put this video together for you to allow a wave of calmness to wash through you through this practice, either when you're starting off with your day or even at the end of your day when you want to wind down and allow that calmness to wash through your being. So all you need is a mat and that's it. I've made this video knee friendly, so we're not going to use a lot of kneeling positions. Um, and even if you want to sit on a chair, if sitting on the floor is not accessible or comfortable for you, please feel free to do so. So starting off in a comfortable seat. So once again, if sitting on the floor doesn't feel that comfortable for you today, you have the option to place pillows under the knees to provide a little bit of more cushioning or you can even slide one pillow underneath your sit bones to allow the knees to come to a lower level as long as you, as you find that upright back. Okay, so wherever you are, find your comfortable seat and let's get started. So you can either have, either have your legs crossed or your ankles in front of one another like I have right now. So allow your hands to be wherever they lie comfortably on your knees or on your thighs, looping the shoulders all the way up to the ears, allow them to drop back. Your palms can face up or down, whichever you choose. Allow the weight of your elbows to drop down towards the earth. Finding that nice long line of energy from the ground up through the crown of your head. Allowing your lids to feel soft. All the muscles in your forehead, your cheeks to rest and melt. And tune into your natural breath. Take the next few moments to drop in distinctly in the here in the now allowing your awareness to shift into the present moment knowing that there is no other place you need to be at this time there's nothing else that you need to do at this time enjoying this as a gift for yourself taking natural breath in through the nose out through the nose Nice, we're going to slowly start to deepen our breath now. So bringing one hand onto the belly, one hand onto the chest. And breathing a little deeper breath now. So breathing in through the nose, allowing that belly to expand. Feel the hand that's on the belly rise. And exhale as you draw the belly button in towards the spine. Inhaling into the belly, maybe you continue your inhale and feel it in your chest, in your ribs. Exhale this time, drop the chest first, breathe out from your chest, draw the ribs together and then pull the navel in towards the spine. Taking nice and deep breaths here without straining. So follow the journey of your breath. Allow it to unfold from deep within. Let's take one more full breath in and out together. Maybe you even feel the back ribs expand with your breath. Nice. Slowly release the hands onto your thighs or your knees. Loop the shoulders all the way up towards your ears and draw the shoulder blades back. Start to blink your eyes to open. They're still closed. All right, good. So we're going to do cat and cow seated. So hands come on top of the knees. We're going to inhale to reach the heart forward, loop the shoulders back and draw the shoulder blades down and in towards the center. So expanding through the chest. As we exhale, tuck the chin in towards the chest, loop the shoulders in and round through the upper back. So we're going to use our own breath to guide our movement. So taking your breath in, allow that expansion to happen through the chest and visualize that space opening up, creating more space for more love. And as you exhale, allow the heart 
to shine through the back so really looping your shoulders in drawing the navel in the ribs and let's take one last round together so once again creating space for more love and our authentic self tends to come out more naturally from a space of love so the more awareness we bring into the space that we're creating and feeding it with love the more our true selves our natural self comes through nice job come back to your seat and we're going to continue this movement of our spine but we're going to move forward and back uh, through the sides so let's move all the way towards our right side open the chest forward draw the heart forward open up through the neck through the throat go all the way towards your left side and then as you scoop the belly in rounding through the back center all the way to the right let's do one more in this direction and, one, and then we switch side so inhaling all the way forward open your chest open your throat and round through the back so doing anything that you're doing with integrity with honesty staying completely in the present so we're going to come back to center and do it in the opposite direction now okay so going all the way to your left side rounding through the back and then going all the way to your left opening through the chest and rounding at the back so feel that undulation in your spine those movements in your spine and this practice is all about really cultivating your awareness into the present into the body spending some time with your body noticing how you how you're feeling in the here in the now with every movement and once you're done with those two rounds on this side come to your seat and we're going to give our legs a little bit of movement now so let's bring our feet flat on the floor in front of us i'm just turning sideways so that you can see and then we're going to bring some space in between the legs almost as wide as the mat and then dropping the knees to one side and then the other so don't worry if your knees don't reach all the way down to the floor just keep going with this windshield wiper kind of movement so just rocking the knees from side to side you're still getting the benefits of it and breathing through it still finding peace in the movements peace in the present moment nice for those of you who can reach the knees all the way down you might want to drop the knees to one side coming into this mermaid position and walk the hands all the way to the side so lifting your heart up as you inhale and as you exhale slowly starting to melt the chest down so you might want to extend the arms a little forward or keep the forearms down and then allow the chest to melt we're just going to stay here one breath later on you can always play this video back and spend a little more time in each of the postures if you wish and then whenever we're ready we're going to walk our hands back towards us and come all the way to the other side so rocking the knees to the other side i'm just going to shift this way so that you see and then walking the hands to the opposite side now and walking the fingertips away from us so once again if your knees don't reach the ground feel free to just stay with that windshield wiper movement and taking a couple of breaths here feeling any sensation that you're feeling staying present with those sensations nice job and then slowly start to walk your fingertips back towards you come back to center so once we're back to center we're going to bring the soles of our feet together okay so in a diamond position okay so once again if this doesn't feel quite accessible to you or you need a little more cushioning or support under the thighs or the knees feel free to use cushions you can even use two on one side feels pretty comfortable there <laughs> or even one underneath your sit bone so feel free to prop up and whenever we're using prop i i like to say use them gladly with love it's just about taking care of your body listening to your body and not pushing over the edge 
Okay, so once you're in this diamond shape, we're going to bring our hands on top of our thighs, inhaling to lengthen through the spine, exhaling to tuck the chin and slowly start to slide the hands along the legs as you round through the back. Hands reach all the way down to your toes. Either you stay here or you can open up the palms towards the sky and allow your chest to just slowly drop. And allowing each breath to guide you a little deeper into the posture. And surrendering. And letting go of any grip that we think we have. And surrender comes from a place of acceptance. Just knowing where can we let go more of. Can we accept this posture the way it is? Can we accept any situation that comes through in our lives? without gripping onto it or without gripping onto preconceived notions or judgments. Now slowly start to tuck the chin a little more towards the chest as you start to slide your hands back through the legs, along the legs to come up to seated. Okay, you can do this a couple of more times. You can pause the video and do it two more times if you wish. Otherwise, we'll move on to the next posture. So we're going to come back into a cross-legged position. Either ankles are in front of one another, knees down or cross-legged, opening up through the chest once again. So hands reach back towards the back edge of the mat, palms are flat and we're going to, instead of looping the shoulders in, looping them back, once again finding that opening through the heart space, through the chest, lifting the heart up. It's a beautiful stretch for the shoulders as well. For those of you who want to uh, use a little more activation in this posture, you have the option of lifting the hips and coming onto your knees. If your uh, shins are crossed, you just want to flick your toes down. So the tops of the feet are down, the knees are down. You're lifting the hips, lifting the chest. But for those of you who want to take it easy, you can stay right here. Another option is to drop the forearms and lift the chest. Once again, tapping into our breath, traveling into the body through our breath, honoring each breath, honoring the power of each breath. And whenever we're ready, we're going to come back onto our hands, drop the hips if they're still lifted, and shift the hands forward. We're going to now come into child's pose. So for child's pose, again, this is the only kneeling position that I will use. However, if you need a little support, you have the option to place cushions between your thighs and your shins. Okay, so to support a little... Um, to provide a little more support to your knees. You can even place two on either side, okay? You can even place a block or cushions in between both the legs, all right? So we're going to take a wide-legged child's pose here. So bring your knees as wide as the mat, toes are together, and then see if you can sink your hips all the way towards your heels, or like I said, place cushions in between. First thing, we're going to elongate our spine. Elongate the sides of the waist as you inhale and exhale, fold. Nice. Now I'd like you to bring your awareness into your shoulders, into your neck, and see if you can melt those areas a little bit, allowing them to rest. Maybe your forehead comes to the floor. Feel each breath helping you to elongate the sides of the waist and each breath out allowing you to melt a little closer to the earth. Now while you're here, I'd like you to maybe set an intention for today or for the rest of your practice or for your life in general. Cultivate that intention, repeat it to yourself a couple of times. So it could be as simple as I am healed or I, or I am happy or I am whole just the way I am. Repeat it to yourself. Bring it to the forefront of your mind.
We're going to take one or two more breaths here. See if you can soften a little more into the lower back, sending your breath into the skin of your back. And feel free to stay here a few more breaths by pausing the video, or we can move on to the next posture. So walk your hands towards you. Take your time to slowly lift up into tabletop position. Cross your shins behind you and come to a seat. And we're just going to make our way uh, onto our backs, okay? So hold on to the backs of your thighs and slowly and carefully come onto your back, lying down position. We're going to come into a mild inversion. So from here, uh, feel free to place a block under the sit bones or cushion so i'm just going to demonstrate it with a cushion so a cushion comes under the hips and we're going to lift the legs up high okay so just allowing this um, mild inversion to kind of act onto a par parasympathetic nervous system so this is not a position that we assume every day or day in and day out it's not something that we do as part of our regular routine but this is just allowing us to rewire our mind, our body, to find peace within this posture. And as we step off the mat later when we finish our practice, we always have the option to tune in to that attitude of peace, of harmony, of approaching every situation with peace. And through this love that you're cultivating in your heart space with every breath and gives you and allows you to allow the real self, your true self to come forward, to accept things the way they are, to find a little more clarity and acceptance towards what we're facing day in and day out. Nice. Feel free to stay here a few more breaths or bend your knees, bring your feet down onto the mat and uh, you can set the cushion away and just bring the soles of your feet together, allow the knees to drop, bring the left hand onto the belly, right hand onto the chest and just take three full breaths here. Once again, allowing gravity to do its job here without resistance. Can we just allow this posture to unfold? Can we allow gravity to pull the knees towards the earth? Feel your breath traveling in and out through the body. Can we soften our eyebrows, our forehead? Feel the fluidity of your breath in and out through the nose and feel how the breath in your belly, in your chest is connected to the breath in your nostrils. Nice. So once again, you can stay here for two or three more breaths or make your way out of the posture by using your hands to guide your knees together and then rock the knees towards your right side take a second here into this fetal position to allow yourself to slowly lift yourself up whenever you're ready so noticing how things feel exactly where you are at this moment Acknowledging that each step in your journey towards your goals is a success, is a progress in itself. And then take your time to lift yourself up, coming into a comfortable seat once again. And we're going to close our practice with once again a little bit of breath work, a little bit more awareness cultivated through this breath into the body. Bring your palms to touch in front of your heart bow your head and tune into your breath allowing now your breath to return to its natural rhythm so be patient with yourself as it comes back to its natural smooth rhythm imagine your breath as a circle so your inhalation forming one half of the circle and your exhale the other half of the circle 
Noticing if there's any rough edges in those half circles, can you smoothen them, smoothen them out? Reconnecting to your intention, repeating it to yourself silently once or twice, and then bowing your head, feeling grateful for making it to the mat today, spending some time with your body, with your breath. Thank you so much for the privilege of sharing my practice with you today. Thank you for making time for yourself. Namaste. Have a great day. And see you next time.